Congratulations, Class of 2020, and welcome to CIT's first ever virtual award ceremony. On Friday, March 13, 2020, the end of the day bell rang at 225, and the hallways were filled with joy as you left that afternoon, eagerly anticipating the spring-like weather that weekend. Never did any of us imagine that that would be your last day entering CIT as a senior. The changes and hardship that you have had to endure in the last few months as high school seniors is something none of us ever expected or were prepared for. Your last few months were supposed to be filled with great memories and celebrations, recognized achievements, rather than Google Classroom assignments, Google Chats, watching YouTube videos, and joining Zoom meetings. The disappointment of missed opportunities for you to participate in SkillsUSA state competitions, community service events, end of year projects, earning industry certifications and taking the NACTI, being recognized at the National Technical Honor Society and Cooperative Education Banquet, celebrating at Battle of the Best, and being recognized at various scholarship and award events is something we are all disheartened over. Although we are all saddened and disappointed that these experiences were missed out on, we need to refocus our energy on the positive lessons and life experiences that this situation has prepared you for as young adults about to enter the workforce, secondary education, or the military. COVID-19 may have changed your lives and taken some things away from you, but as a CIT graduate, there's one thing that no virus or pandemic can ever take away from you, and that is the trade and industry skills and training that you have learned at CIT as a student. These skills will remain with you forever. As you are about to enter the next chapter in your lives as young adults, you may be faced with even greater challenges of a strained economy, but you are even more prepared for these challenges ahead of us in our economy because you're trained with in-demand trade skills to be successful. Never has a graduating class been released into the future workforce with more experience and life lessons than you now have. You have learned to be resilient. You've learned to overcome obstacles. And most of all, you have learned how to accept and overcome challenges that no senior has ever had to accept before. So I want to express how proud we are of all the CIT seniors, parents, and families for embracing and accepting these challenges that we've all been faced with. Your patience, understanding, and support throughout this pandemic is a true representation of community support in a time of need. And now I would like to continue with our CIT 2020 Senior Awards Recognition Program to celebrate your accomplishments and congratulate you as you enter the workforce, pursue a college degree, or enter into the military to serve our country proudly. Congratulations and best of luck, 2020 graduates. Isaiah Bunbury Clark, Javon Figueroa, Randy Fuentes, Destiny Heinlein, Justin Azario, Sonny Solaris, Anthony Spears, William Wagner, and Robert Wisser. Congratulations. Hello, this is Mr. Illich, the Automotive Technology Instructor over at CIT. I'd like to take a moment to congratulate the class of 2020 seniors in automotive technology. Christian Burdett, Jonathan Buxbaum, Evan Cooper, Justin Flight, Joey Fuhrer, Shane Garrity, Cody Gursky, Denrelis Guzman Gonzalez, Caitlin Jorley, Gianni Lazzetti, Joseph Redman, Isaac Sant, Hunter Scott, Jake Snyder, Noah Vangeli, Justin Warren, Andrew Warren, Hunter Weaver, Justin Weaver. Congratulations all. Best of luck to you in your future endeavors. Have a great summer.
This is Mr. Kerball. Building property maintenance. I'd like to congratulate the following seniors on a fine year. Logan Cavanaugh, Cameron Eckert, and Tyler Hockman. Building Construction Technology, Class of 2020, Carpentry. Keith Bartley, Ryan Billet, Nicholas Bordeaux, Giovanni Serino, John Civitella, Jeremiah Cooper, Anthony Capalella, Jacob Dietzler, Aaron Dodder, Ryan Felix, Brendan O'Brien, Jonathan Quijada, Josue Ramos Alvaranga, Nikki Reina, Luis Rodriguez, Reed Whitenack, Corey Wolf, Andrew Zellers. Congratulations, class of 2020. The future's in your hands. Good luck. I want to congratulate my graduating seniors on completing the CAD and Engineering Graphics program. Starting off with Duncan Gallo, Kelvin Castillo, Kiana Diaz, Cameron Frabel, Aiden Marshall, Michael Smith, Nathan Stark Buell, Alex Vickery, and last but not least, Tom Whitmore. Congratulations, seniors. Good luck in the future, and stop back and see me. Archie Abel. Christian Angus. William Appling. Dominic Arujo. Therian Boisel, Brandon Cressman, Mason Kohuth, Brian Martinez, Michael Chase McClary, Emerson Pitt, Lemuel Riolo, Jonathan Ruth, Giovanni Santos, Kyle Schweitzer, Andrew Shellhammer, Avinash Singh, Kaijin Todd, John Velez, and Jonathan Vogel. These are the names of the seniors that have contributed to one of the most fantastic years that I have spent at CIT. Uh, I want to make sure you guys know that I appreciate you and I respect you and I hope that in all of your future endeavors you do the best job that you can do. Um, I know you're all capable of great things. I know you will all do wonderful things in your futures. And uh, don't forget about me. Sarah Bachman. Keishel Clark. Sarah Klosnitzer. Aaron Joseph. Hi girls, I've missed you and I hope you are all doing well. I'm going to now recognize all of our graduating cosmetology students. Lillian Adams. Alyssa Artiaga. Caitlin Barnett. Alondra Busker. Ashlyn Gallagher. Jude Gallagher. Cassidy Johnson, Isabella Klump, Athena Kopolis, Shelby Matlock, Eileen Nugent, Tatiana Payne Shack, Diane Pollard, Mackenzie Renner, 
Shelby Rumble, Jenna Slyker, Emma Stoff, Michaela Taylor, Janae Bapatoro, Corinne Werner, Shania Wilkins. Again, congratulations, and we wish you all well in the future. Congratulations, 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 graduating class of 2020. Casey Flavel, Emily Roman, Cole Schaefer, Devin Watson, Robert Whaley, Ronnie Williams, Ladeja Woody Johnson. You did it! Early Childhood Education. Gabriella Barreto Otero. Mackenzie Causa. Julia Daly. Mallory Assorti. Alexis Fizikas. Anna Garcia. Madison Hattisall. Madeline Moran. Emily Naylor, Theodora Pellegrino, Tequila Rivera, Alexis Schoenberger, Dominique White, Lexi Zigafus. Congratulations, Class of 2020, Early Childhood Education. Electrical Construction Technology Students, Davian Avarado, Chris Hansen, Quentin Hornberger, Jackson Lakata, Dan McKev, Jesse Scrollcroft, and Luke Yetter. Congratulations, class of 2020. Good luck in your electrical field. Congratulations to my largest graduating class in electronics, Jason Alfaro, Hector Amador, Diana Beto, Nicholas Holmes, Tristan Levins, Bryland Medea, Chance McAllar, Jaden Moyer, Tyler Pierce, Ryan Rowe, Jason Rogers, Tyler Siegfried, Sean Sorensen, Tristan Warman, Robert Werkheiser, and Cole Wolf. Again, congratulations. Health related technology Giovanni Casasis, and Yelly Collin, Samira Elwin Awi. Liliana Galasso, Tamara Hall, Chelsea Marison, Karen Mora, Irelise Rodriguez Sanchez, Nathaniel Rupi, Shannon Warner. James Abraham, Jacob Cluel. Brian Chizik, Derek Lasher, Damon Nemeth, Jacob Pelozo, 
Brian Stahl, Cody Vreeland, Blaine Washington, Robert Connor. Kyle Gannon, Bryce Noble, Luke Stangle, Brendan Thompson. Hi, I'm Jessica Allen and I'm the Marketing and Retail Services Instructor. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I'm so proud of all of your accomplishments and I can't wait to see where the future takes you. Bianca Amador. Maya Avant. Noel Drago. James Goodman. Okay. 2020 Masonry graduating class. Glenn Arroyo. James Candelario. Brandon Gomez. Stefano Hooks. Robert Mohr. Joseph Marsak, Michael Mercedes Cabrera, Victor Skodoshad, Daniel Tomsik. To the Protective Services Seniors, Class of 2020, it was an absolute honor to be part of your classroom this year. As I said to you multiple times throughout the year, sometimes in frustration, but always in admiration, you're the most amazing group of individuals I have ever encountered. Each of you is unique in your own way, and each of you will chart your own unique path moving forward. Here are the seniors, class of 2020, Protective Services. Matthew Albert, Brenda Armand, Brianna Bandera, Robert Flight, Shane Hedden, Bo Lamberton, Jaleel McKee, Alan Mulich, Juan Para, Priya Ruland, Derek Serrano, Dakota Snyder, Nicole Stroll, Destiny Velasquez, Elijah Young. I wish all of you great journeys moving forward. I would gladly serve alongside any of you on an ambulance, in a fire truck, or in a squad car. Always remember, your greatest tool is discretion. My shift ends, yours is just beginning. Good luck, be safe. The graduating class of 2020 Welding seniors are Shane Benner, Nathan Caton, Joseph Coombs, Matthew Guerrero, Joseph Lamero, Jonah Serafis, and Evan Sparrow. Congratulations, guys. Good evening. My name is Ryan Van Norman and I'm the assistant principal at CIT. I'd like to take a few moments to congratulate the graduating class of 2020 and all their successes that they have received throughout their career at CIT. Even though the last two months have not gone perfectly for anyone in any way, your career is not defined by your last two months. Your career is defined by all of the events, all of the successes, all of your tasks and skills that you have achieved throughout your three years with us. Those are the things that you take away from this ceremony, but also all of your experiences that you've had at CIT. Some positive things, because of these last two months, you've become the first class to do online learning through CIT, and right now you are the first class to have a virtual senior award ceremony. So life gives us plenty of lessons. This is just another lesson in change. And to know that you cannot always stop change from occurring, but you can always adapt to that to be successful. So before I say goodbye, I'd like to introduce your counselors, Mr. Jonathan Rosenblum, 
and Ms. Jen Russ as they present the scholarships to the 2020 class. Goodbye. Hello, class of 2020. The Don Marsh Award is being presented to a senior who has put forth effort in being the very best person they can be. This monetary award is provided by the Intermediate Unit 20. This year's award is being presented to Luke Yetter, Electrical Construction Technology. Congratulations. On behalf of the Warner family, I would like to present the Mark Warner Memorial Scholarship Award. Mark attended CIT's automotive technology program and gained valuable skills. The Warner family hopes this award will help an outstanding student purchase some tools for the trade. This year's recipient is Justin Flight, Automotive Technology. Congratulations. The Nazareth Women's Club supports the community by volunteering their time and skills to support people of all ages. The club also raises money to provide monetary contributions to organizations and students. This year's recipient is Ashton Gallagher Cosmetology. Congratulations. The Northampton County Chapter of the Pennsylvania School Retirees will recognize one student to present its monetary award. This year's student had to write about what will I do to make the world a better place. This year's recipient is being presented to Julia Daly, Early Childhood Education. Congratulations. The Robert Reese Memorial Award was provided by the Reese family to honor a great person who cared about the students of CIT. This award recognizes a graduating senior with plans to enter further educational or vocational training. This year's recipient is Jacob Kuhl, Heating, Ventilation, Refrigeration, and Plumbing. Congratulations. Up next, Ms. Jennifer Russ. Thank you, Mr. Rosenblum. And now it's my pleasure to continue with some additional awards. The Easton Rotary Club was created to support community projects in the Easton Two Rivers area with a dedication to the youth of the community. This year's monetary award recipients are Bianca Amador from Marketing and Retail Services, Blaine Washington from Heating, Ventilation, Refrigeration and Plumbing, and Samira Almanawi from Health Related Technology. Congratulations. The Kiwanis of Easton and the Kiwanis of Palmer are known for their generosity as they contribute their time and resources towards our community and future generations. This year, each club honored the following students with scholarships. Glenn Arroyo from Masonry and Casey Favell from Culinary Arts. Congratulations. The Slate Belt Chamber of Commerce is an agency which emphasizes community involvement. The Chamber awards a graduating senior who is attending college or a training institution. The selected student demonstrates academic excellence, community involvement, and leadership. This year's award recipient is Derek Lasher from the Heating, Ventilation, Refrigeration, and Plumbing Program. Congratulations. The Frederick Curcio Jr. Scholarship Award is sponsored by the Slate Belt Chamber of Commerce and is awarded to a student who is either taking a computer science course or planning to attend a post-secondary technical school. This year's recipient is Jonathan Ruth from Computer Systems Networking. Congratulations. The Dory Perini Memorial Scholarship Award was created to honor a CIT masonry instructor who continued to volunteer endless hours to CIT throughout his retirement. This year's recipient of the Dory Perini Memorial Scholarship Award is Victor Skorachort from Masonry. Congratulations. And to the class of 2020, congratulations and best wishes in all of your future endeavors. Hello, I'm Mike Morn, and I'm chairman of the CIT Foundation. The foundation was formed in July of 2001 to provide financial support to CIT, its program, and its students. Students receive scholarships and tool awards based on grades, attendance, exhibition of soft skills, and recommendations. 
Our first recipient will be Glenn Arroyo Masonry. His award is for $750. The second recipient is Julia Daly, Early Childhood Education, and she will receive a scholarship for $750. Our third recipient will be Brianna Bandera, Protective Services. She will receive a scholarship award of $750. Reed Whitenet, he will receive a $750 tool award. Casey Flavel, Culinary, she will receive a $1,000 Donna Sailor Award. Congratulations, seniors, and best of luck in your future endeavors. The National Technical Honor Society recipient of the John H. Poteet $1,000 Academic Scholarship Award goes to Reed Whitenack. Congratulations. Bianca Amador. Brianna Bandero. Julia Daly. Samira El Minawi. Isabella Klump. Corinne Warner. The William A. Foltz Memorial Award is CIT's most prestigious honor, and I would like to take a few minutes to share some history about Mr. Foltz and the origination of this award. More than 40 years ago, after serving in World War II, Mr. Foltz completed his degree at Lehigh University and worked for Ingersoll Rand as the Director of Industrial and Labor Relations. He told his sons that he was surprised at how many young employees entering the workforce lacked the skills expected in business and industry. He wanted to bridge the gap between students and employers, so as a community leader, he was involved in the formation of both CIT and Northampton Community College. Sadly, he passed away very suddenly and never had the chance to see his vision come true. Mr. Foltz recognized the importance of serving his community and this award was established in his honor to recognize his beliefs and his visions. The family continues to acknowledge the importance of education and the value of our successful candidates by providing a recipient with a $2,000 award. Tonight, I would like to thank Mr. Foltz's sons and extended family for their continued support of our students. The nominees for this award are to exhibit career and technical excellence, contribute time, energy, and creativity to enhance CIT, and to demonstrate good communication skills. This year's recipient of the William Fultz Award is Liliana Galasso from Nazareth Area High School and the Health Related Technologies Program. Liliana, great job and congratulations on your accomplishments and your success here at CIT. Thank you to the Foltz family for providing this outstanding award to, deser to deserving recipients such as Liliana. Tonight is just one example of all the awesome things that happen here at CIT. We have heard some wonderful stories tonight about strong young students who have shared their high school years with us. They've matured and grown into fine young leaders within their programs. As you celebrate your accomplishments and awards over the next few weeks and begin to think about the work that you will be doing to begin or further your career, I hope that you continue to remember the lessons that you learned here at CIT. Your teachers spend a great deal of time teaching you skills and helping you to complete required tasks. But more importantly, they taught you how to be a successful young adult. They taught you ways to survive in the world outside of school. They taught you that some days were going to be harder than other days. And to be successful, you had to find ways to persevere and to work through the difficult challenges that life throws your way. As you head out into the next phase of your life, use these experiences and the skills and talents that each of you possess to live your life with hope, with optimism, and dedication to the important things in life. We are so very proud of the success and accomplishments of these graduates, their families, and their teachers. We thank everyone for their support and their commitment to CIT. Be safe and good luck.
I'm so proud of you, class of 2020. Go out and make a difference in this world. You are going to do great things, and I know it. I'm so proud to have known you. Um, come back and visit. Hi, everyone. I just want to take a minute to congratulate you on all your accomplishments and successes over the past three years at CIT. So go out into the world and rock it. Make us proud because we believe in you. Happy summer. Take care. Congratulations. I wish you guys a lifetime of success and happiness. Congratulations, class of 2020. Have a great summer. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. Best of luck. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Be kind, work hard, have some fun, and set goals. Congratulations. Best of luck, class of 2020. Hi, seniors, class of 2020. Woohoo! I just want to take out the time to say that Mrs. Miller and I have missed you guys, and we are so proud of you that you have made it to the end. We miss our personal interactions, hearing about your jobs and your personal lives, and being in the classroom setting and being all together. Despite the circumstances, we are pressing forward and looking ahead. Congratulations, girls. This is from Mrs. Miller and I. We wish you the best. Congratulations to all the CIT seniors. We'll miss you guys. Congrats and best wishes. Woo! <laughs>